AI-driven robots are already all around us in 2017. They roll through our streets, fly through our skies, operate in, on, and around us, and if you live in select cities, they'll even bring you a pizza. But what's to stop these fleets of service droids from going all Skynet on us? Well, we'll just have to teach them to be upstanding members of the community. While Asimov's three laws do make for a popular and enduring narrative, they're not the best method for imparting our ethical standards onto today's robots. Starting next year, we need to start working on more nuanced instruction, especially if we use these robots as weapons of war, where they'll be expected to potentially violate the first law in order to accomplish their mission. In these cases, hard coding a set of instructions, say the Geneva Convention, into the AI would be ideal. What's more, without the human warfighter's emotional shortcomings, like the need for self-preservation, robotic systems should be able to execute missions that no human soldier would reasonably take, while potentially hurting fewer civilians. We've already seen such action with the deployment of the K-MAX autonomous helicopter for dangerous resupply missions in Afghanistan, and the Navy's continued testing of the self-guided Fire Scout drone copter. Back in the civilian world, our interactions with robots will not be to the death, at least not intentionally. As self-driving cars like the fleet of Volvo SUVs that Uber ordered for its program this year, and domestic robots like Sophia, which was recently granted Saudi Arabian citizenship, become more common, they're going to need to work right alongside people. But unlike the rules of military engagement, the rules of polite society are far more nuanced. But that's where the machine learning comes in. We should be able to hard code the most fundamental rules of interacting with people, like don't kill anybody, don't grab them by the <coughs> and then allow machine learning systems to gradually teach the AI our more subtle social mores. Google and Microsoft have gone so far as to create the AI Now Institute this past November, which examines how AI will fit into tomorrow's society. Humans will have to adapt as well, especially as AIs become as capable as people, maybe even more so. Just look at Google's AlphaGo system. And even though robots won't feel the same pain of a kick as a dog would, it's probably not a good look to go wanging on your robotic assistant for making a mistake at next year's office party, any more than it would be if you went and smashed your iPhone X for dropping a call. So look, 2018 and beyond is coming whether you're ready for it or not. Robots are already here and they're not going anywhere. Getting them to follow the rules next year and in the future will be as easy as programming the knowledge into them. The real challenge will be getting the people that they interact with to behave as well.